I'm simping for Wilhelm. Oh, Wilhelm, you are such a big boy. Today's video is sponsored by True Classic. More about them in a little bit. What's going on, everyone? It's me, Yaman. Alex the Rambler, and today we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4, the Great Kerfuffle Redux. What we're doing today is playing as another minor nation uh, that I haven't played as on one of my favourite mods of all time. We're going to see what it's like to play as Sweden in World War 1. Or, or 1910, going into World War 1. So we're playing as that Chad. The long schlong of the Nordic nation. Oh no, that's more of like a thick, more of like a little, a little chonker. Norway's got the, Norway's got the long schlong. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. But yes, we're going to have some fun in the Great War mod. So if you would like to see more, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And now for a message from today's sponsor, True Classic. What is True Classic all about? Well, I'm wearing one of their t-shirts right now. And True Classic, a premium tees designed for guys' bodies. They accentuate the arms and shoulders to make you stand out and feel great. They, I can confirm, they're also very soft. I've been wearing these for about 48 hours straight. Different ones, of course. And I've got to tell you, they're comfy. They're Lady Rambler approved too, apparently. I've been in the market for some new t-shirts and these are going to be a, a staple of my li library now. Library? Wardrobe. <laughs> So I, I vary between a small and a medium. They sent over medium, so you can kind of get an idea of the fit that you'll have. Uh, it, they're a bit tighter, kind of, again, as they say, around the shoulders and around the chest to kind of really get, you know, that oh, chest pump, you know? And if you like what you see, you can shop True Classic with my link below in the description at trueclassictees.com slash alextherambler. That's trueclassictees.com slash Alex the Rambler. I've been actually amazed by classic tees and how comfy they actually are. So if you're looking for a nice new t-shirt that, that, that looks good on its own, if you layer them, hell, I even just wore one to the gym. Uh, Lady Rambler's also noticed that I've been spending a lot longer looking at myself in the mirror since I got these. Uh, so yes, I would recommend True Classic to anyone. Please do click on that link in the description. Thank you very much, True Classic, for sponsoring today's video. So, that's pretty much it. We're doing a Sweden playthrough. In the main, uh, in the base Hearts of Iron, they still don't have a focus tree. Uh, but they do in mods. And what what mod do we like playing here on the channel? Well, it's the World War I Redux. So, let's go give them a go. Historical AI is on, but I may not be. And let's begin. So, as Sweden, we start off with six divisions. Not a lot. We also start off with high emigration, class conflict, economic turbulence, and a conservative army leadership. But we have Gustav. We do have Gustav. Uh, so there we have it. Sweden does have a unique tree in the mod. Uh, so let's try and recover from the general strike of 1909. I'm sure some Swedes will tell me what that was all about. I'm guessing it was about labor and getting paid for it. Uh, let's also try and get some factories. Let's start getting ourselves some support equipment. And some howitzers. I love me some big guns. Uh, we've got no problem with producing stuff with steel. I'm just adding in some... Uh... Ooh, oh, yeah, we actually start off with 12 battleships as Sweden. That's pretty chonky. Uh, we have to get our king in as well. As he's an iron side, he's also got the royal trait, and he's a media personality. Nice. Do we even have a pride of the fleet? Because if we don't, I may have to give it to this fella. There we go. So we've got a pride of the fleet. Do I want to support the lands organization, or do I support the SAF? Let's support the SAF. Or do I care about finding employment for the destitute? No. Not today. I would, I would IRL, but today we're the Swedes. Got to get working on our division XP straight away, our army XP. Reimburse employers? Well, of course. It only takes 105 days. An estimated 25 million kroner. Is that it? That's... <laughs> the UK government's thinking, wow, that's that's not... that That's tiny numbers. Let me take over. I'll spaff away billions! <laughs> Fucking nice. I know I try and avoid politics here on the channel, but really, can... Can you ignore the absolute travesty that is the UK in 2023? He says, well, he's thousands of kilometers away. 
Oh, King Ferdinand's got up in the plane. Oh, oh, oh. Naval XP. Bam. Then we'll just get the Navy to train. What are our division templates like? 12 combat width. Ah. Oh, support howitzers, though. Immediately, our soft attack almost triples with just support howitzers. You gotta love that. Sorry, I'm just I'm just getting rid of um, reason. I'm I'm trying to get rid of uh, emigration. Stay in Sweden. See you, the lovely lakes. Uh, have a great time. Work for our economy. I, definitely not Swedish. Um, if you've ever go to Sweden, like everyone speaks amazingly fluent English, with barely an accent. Increase our reason. Ah, oh, no, that's above. Yeah, I don't like doing research ahead of time. Uh, but I will like an aircraft engine. Oh, look at that. Logistics wizard and a defensive doctrine. Wow. Okay. So one thing I will say about the mo this mod, it's very well optimized, but for, a f for the... As Sweden, we're going to have a fairly boring first few years. It's just going to be preparing and building. Woo the army! Give me the military factories. Yeah, there's a 140-day focus. Um... It, it, there's there's not a lot going on here as Sweden, honestly. Um, once we get more to the this one, then we can kind of change things around a bit. But we have no factories, really. Like, our factories are really quite terrible. We're stuck on civilian. So, I guess we'll go ahead and get the captain of industry. I think I'm going to stop training because it's just, like, it's not worth damaging all of my navy just getting them to train. So, let's not bother. Instead, let's keep increasing the size of our divisions. Slowly but surely, we shall have a professional army. Oh, the Russian Prime Minister was assassinated. But don't worry, Italy's invaded Libya. Let's meet with the Conservatives and the Nationalists. Why not? I will also denounce militarists. Yes, it looks like we're having some trouble with... Uh, ooh. <laughs> Ally the Socialists or shun them? They shall be shunned! What to go down next? You know what? Maybe getting a mountaineer template wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but if we think about our navy... Swedish carriers? Maybe? Carriers in World War One? Maybe that's worth an experiment. Oh, I, uh, they want me to slash military spending. I, but, but, uh, we have no interest in foreign wars. I don't know about that. Is that another 70 days? Yeah, there's another 70 days of not doing anything. <laughs> Uh, so it's 1912, so we're already two years in, uh, and not really, you know, I mean, what? That dude looks drunk. It's got to be superior firepower on the mod, right? Zeppelins? I'm, I'm, I don't have the factory. We don't have the factories! Do I need that? Enables naval bomber. Enables early fighter. Oh, I need to get to, like, fighter twos in order to get carrier fighters. So building a carrier... I can't actually <laughs> get the... Uh, there's no point. There's no point. I don't have the... I can't get the tech. All right. Well, that's that's sad. I'll get airship bombers instead that... Huh. Is nuke... Are nukes even a tech? No. They removed them. They removed them, but they tease us by letting airship bombers have the ability to do a nuclear strike. It tests me. It tests me. Okay, we slash military spending, so now we're going to have the uh, disarm the nation. We'll begin the process to reduce the size of the army. Oh, look how many factories I've suddenly got. Oh, oh. Sweden could be a powerhouse once more. Okay, the nation is disarmed, unfortunately, so let's put the funds elsewhere, I guess. Ugh, the fools. Can I actually produce an early fighter, though? Oh. I'd rather get transport planes, if I'm honest, he says as he switches the goddamn production around. Why can't you deploy? Oh, there's insufficient manpower to deploy the ships I'm producing. Sacre blur. Oh, the emperor is dead. No manpower, no industry, no resources. Just me. Let's raise taxes, why not? Give me the big boy. Yes, give me my early dreadnought. Give it to me. Doing all of these upgrades for my navy, probably to only just get let it get wrecked. In a sec. <laughs> We've got a fair amount of screen ships, though. 
Um, and then we've got, you know, lots of torpedo boats, early destroyers. We've got some cruisers and battleships. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, conservatives across the country have begun a mass fundraising to produce a battleship. Oh, oh yes. So we have a small veteran or regular armed forces here. 75,000 in the field. Only a small deficit of infantry equipment. I don't want to attack the monarchy. What if I did an infrastructure project? Eh, I'm not even building infrastructure. Let's do social funding. <laughs> ah, look at the libs. We're shoving it to the libs, aren't we? I've really been upgrading my navy a fair amount. Maybe a bit too much? Ah! The Ottomans are collapsing. Oh. Um, send in the army. Uh. <laughs> well, looks like I've caused some rioting. Whoops. Hold on. Where I've got a defunded military. I no wonder. I'm wasting so much time on these. I might actually increase the infrastructure in the country then. Because we're going to get a bonus for construction on that soon. So we might as well get all the resources we can get out of Sweden. Infrastructure project. Here we go. Is that another 70 days? Oh. So, fed up with the liberal progressive policies of Karl. Especially his pacifism and disarmament program. Conservatives across the country have rallied farmers in a 30,000 march known as the Peasants' Armament Support March. Okay. Ye <laughs> the, king is, the king is doing a speech. Ye honest men of Sweden's yeomanry tribe, ye have come to honour your opinion regarding the maintenance of the realm and the care for its highness. Ye are here to make me known to all that no demand is too high and no burden is too heavy when it comes to the preservation of ancient freedom and safeguarding of our future development. We're not doing a committee. Who will replace him? Uh-oh. We're in crisis. Well, I can't even finish the infrastructure project that I wanted to do. So instead, I'm going to go down a royal dictatorship. And uh, so I guess that means... Screw infrastructure? Ooh. Do I want a great battleship? We might be able to get one of those by 1925. I'm not going to bother. Let's just keep working on our infantry. A royal dictatorship or a personal dictatorship? Royal. Oh. We're the Kingdom of Sweden. We're now led by Gustav. Undo the spending cats. The world is on the brink of war. How on earth could anyone think of cutting military spending? I've still got class conflict though. Ouch. Oh, that's horrible. The conservative army leadership as well. Ugh. I'm crushing the socialist. I'm crushing my shop. I'm crushing. I'm crushing them. No point spending our XP at the moment. We're not at war. Might as well just hold on to it. Sweden was once a great empire that spanned all of Europe. But first, let's fund our military projects. We're now on limited conscription. We've got partial mob. Yes. That needs to go. Although I don't know if we'll be able to. Ooh. Motorized infantry, please. Yes, please. That would be quite... Hmm? It's... Well, by, the, by, the, by all of Europe, I presume they mean, like, the areas of Europe. Because it did used to be, like... I'm in 1914 already. Seems like a very stable year. Don't need to worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Oh, God, there's a guy with a gun. Yes, every little thing is going to be all right. We're going full military mode now. We will never back down. We will never surrender. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of conquest against Sweden. Just a little bit, okay? Ah, I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, oh, well. Or maybe I'll bring my cult to Norway. You're just asking to be conquered, Gunnar. Gunnar Nudson. Now's the time to, I guess, unlock trench warfare. As we go in with our pitiful little band. Just be offensive. Okay, looks like we're just busting in. Where is their capital? Where's Oslo? Did I just take Oslo? Was that Oslo? Uh. Looks like we're more than a match for the Swede uh, the Norwegian Mountain Division. That's on planes. So we can uh, thank them for, for that. 
So, you know, they're taking territory up near Narvik from us, but whatever. I'm taking the south of Norway and most of their capture points. Easy peasy. 7,000 casualties to like 83 Swedes. You will be remembered. A modern Swedish army is coming. The world shall fear me. Try and take Bergen. Run up to Trondheim. Al you can make Al Capone president. Uh what? Oh, I would like a Baltic Navy, yes. I still haven't smashed the libs. Oh! Okay, take their navy. Hey, hey, hey! Hi, Jin's here! Alright, take Bergen. Okay. So we have 310 points. So I, I can take the nation. I just can't take the navy. I think. Yeah, I can't take their entire navy, unfortunately. I can only take a couple of big ships. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the kingdom of Sweden now. You better brick it. Because I'm coming for you. Again, still not a lot to do in the mod. Oh, there goes Franz Ferdinand. Bow, 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 do, 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 do. I say, don't you know? You say, you don't know. I say, I got assassinated. Who I'm gonna ally? Maybe no one. Maybe I'll just be my own Chad. I might just declare war on Russia just for the fun of it. With my big ass navy. Dockyard effort. Another three dockyards. Oh, don't mind if I do. Wow. Sweden, the Giga Nav. Giga Nav? The Giga Navy. Oh, and it begins. I feel like having a surplus of guns is never going to be a bad thing. I've got so much PP. Look at me. I have the PP now. <gasps> Ooh. I will flirt with the Kaiserreich. Oh, they're going to give me Finland. If they win. If we win. Ooh, Cass. What do we love here? On the Alex the Rambler channel chat. Ah, Sweden is a European power, you know. Thank you. I may smash the liberals first. Oh, oh. Do I want the negative 25% stability? Do you know what? Screw it. Sweden, Norway. The union has been reforged, or... The sooner we get it through those Norwegian thick skulls that are not equal to us, the better. You know what? No, I'm all about Nordic consideration. Sweden, Norway. We'll all be powerful together. We're as one. And I get cores, so I don't have to worry about resistance. I'm simping for Wilhelm. Oh, Wilhelm, you're such a big boy. Anyone got rubber that I can trade with safely? Germany's got a little bit of rubber. Okay, we'll buy the rubber from the Germans. Is Sweden Norway back? We're back, baby, with that weird flag. Yeah! <laughs> Ensvenced tiger. Do I want the Swedish tiger? I think we're going to. Need a garrison one. Just a port garrison. And let's get to work on convoys. Oh, we've almost got 50 factories. We're almost a major. Will that help with railways? I think it will do. Yeah, it's bringing our supply up. Here we go. Sweden is a power, and Sweden is geographically central! <laughs> Right, now how many CAC divisions do I need to defend my nation here? How many ports do we have? We shouldn't have like a ridiculous amount of ports to have to defend. 15. Ouch. Okay, so I'm not entering the war just yet. Oh, we can get Cass. Oh, my pretties. Do the ally, do, do the, does the AI like to naval invade? I don't think they do. And I've got a pretty chunky navy that I'm hoping to like knock out rushes with, you know? That would really wet my whistle if we could do that. Why would it build the airport back here? Okay, so building a railway didn't really help the supply up here. I don't believe. Let me add you. Whoa, Nikolai II. He's got some wrinkles, isn't he? Gotta help out Austria-Hungary, though. Like The central powers look like they're getting a bit beat at the moment. We help knock out Russia. Why do you keep declaring war on people? So it looks like our uh, our divisions are more than a match for the uh, for the Russians here. Yeah. Luckily, I put logistics in my. Ca I forgot to put logistics in my uh, divisions. 
<laughs> me, several years ago. I'm going to research logistics, so I put them in my divisions. Also me, forgets to put them in my divisions. Brilliant. How's our... Oh, crap. Why would the British send their fleet? How? We lost a battleship. Where is the supply zone up here? Where are you? Supply zone. Is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this war isn't exactly going to plan. Um, oh, mortars you say? Yes please. I think we're going to have to hold the advance at this rate. Jeez Louise. I can't believe the problems with supply we're having. Ouch. Did we lose our... Uh-oh. Why the heck are there Ottoman divisions over here? No, no, no. Save him! Save him! You fuckers. No! Oh, he got out! Whew. Getting a bit worried there, not gonna lie. So happy I have garrisons in most of my... Yeah. Although I have been getting quite bad tunnel vision, so I have no idea what the uh, rest of the war is looking like. Oh, God damn, Austria-Hungary is always the weak link. Always the weak link. Am I still building that damn railway? There we go, that may help supply. Local supply. Hello. Might be going for an encirclement here, ladies and gents. Might be able to go for an encirclement. Wouldn't that be nice if we could do it? Encircle the Russians in the north of the world. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, are we getting ready for a little poggers? Ooh, pog champ. Ooh, ooh, P pog champ po. Do I purge? Popish? Yes. Rome quivers in its luxuries, corrupt boots. We are coming for them. Coming after the Pope now, am I? Okay. We've got an encirclement, ladies and gents. We've done it. Anti-air, you say? Anti-air machine gun. Me likey. The old ones will be happy. Good. I'm glad to have provided for the old gods. The Japanese Navy is here sinking my convoys. Are you... I don't think so, Japan. There we go. Little fuckers are retreating. Uh-oh. They broke out? But honestly... Austria-Hungary is just... Terrible in this mod. <sighs> Sunk all their damn convoys, but... Are they in the battle? How do I get them to go in? Like, the British are just sailing around... Like, am I... Why am I... Am I retreating? Why did you just engage? No, 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 engage! I saw a mother... <laughs> It's just in Serbia they're getting screwed. The Russians are just trash. Please, I just need supply. Where is the supply map mode up here? <clears throat> I'm struggling. This is not gonna this is not the big war that the the big easy war that I had initially thought that this would be. Uh this is proving to be a big ball lake, despite them not having any supply. We're still unable to put... Like, they have no supply and no equipment. I have equipment, just lack of supply, so... Oh, I can just walk around them. At this point. I guess they're struggling. Did he just say, um, shit, I'm fucked? <laughs> in, whatever that would be in Swedish. That's funny. Um, shit, I'm fucked. Um, shit, um, shit, oh, shit. Yo. Yo. Or a dead. Yo. You fucking... Ah. Fucking what? Ah. 
How can the British get supply? Oh, no. Go on, Gustav. Can you retreat? No. So stop. Okay, so they've got their whole navy in my in my neck of the woods, I guess. Cool. Such a shame here. Yeah, and then they're just going to naval invade me to death, aren't they? Because I don't I, I don't have enough divisions to protect every port. Ouch. I honestly wasn't expecting the UK to focus their whole their whole kind of navy in the Baltic. Maybe that's on me. Maybe I should have thought that the British would do that. I thought they'd have more important targets to secure. But you know, no. It's not how life works. <laughs> British ruining my fun. God, now I know how all of Europe feels towards the Brits. Wankers. Smashing the libs now. I really thought this was going to be the one, you know. The one to get rid of my losing streak. Increase our soft attack. Okay, so these Russian units do not have any supply, so hopefully we can just finish them off and kill them. I'm presuming Austria-Hungary has solved its issues. May have to send may have to send the Swedish army to try and uh, solve the situation there. Must kill Russia. God, I hate areas with low supply. Uh, even at five speed, it's so painful. It's painful. Oh, the Easter Rising. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> look, look at how. Painful Austria. Oh, is even even Germany's getting forced back. Uh oh. Maybe we're not gonna get punished. Um. And if Russia could just get knocked out of the war, I could just save everyone. He says very optimistically. Where is their supply here? Where is the supply zone? Please, I, I would love to know. Is it there? Is that it? So if I get that, then our supply is fixed. Oh. Oh my god. Please just kill them. Thank god for that. We're sending an expeditionary force to hold Vienna. Do I need more manpower? Yes we do. We're only a little nation. We can't survive without, without it. I wouldn't want to fight a war around it. Did I capture the supply? No supply connection from the capital. Do I have to give it a sec? Because there bloody well is. Ah. Four days. Three. Two. One. Supply! Armistice? No. No, no. No, I just got to Vienna. I... I just got the supply zone and you're surrendering? Oh, Romania just capitulated too. They were doing it. Uh, yeah, they're doing it, look. We don't need the armistice. Please. I obviously can't take them all. What post-war treaty am I about to be subject to? Uh. Oh, the scuff. Why am I republic? Okay. No. I get back. I'm in a faction though still. The central power still still exists. 
Huh. Well, that was absolute bullshit. And I guess that's the run over. I I I need to get. I. Where's my na Where's my navy? Surely I've got more than. Our navy is still semi intact. So we've been humbled, but we're not like out of the power zone. I did technically survive. I still think that this is a, a lost run, though. Um, and I think the Swedish focus tree kind of tapers out. I don't think you get anything else. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole That's the whole Swedish tree. Hmm. Bit small. Could be bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> but overall, I think that was quite fun. I lost. I need to end this losing streak soon. I'm losing in every bloody video at the moment. I shouldn't have joined the Central Losers. I underestimated just how bad that uh, Norway was going to be. Uh, sorry. Norway? I underestimated how bad Austria-Hungary is. Um, so yeah, that was the Swedish run on the Great Wall Redux mod. If you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to the Patreon cult leaders, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Dr. Fotska and Jack Troku, and many thanks to the Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Hegu Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you.